Hey hello guys welcome back to my channel my name is Sagar Prachapati and in this video I will be solving another question which is on PySpark and this question was asked in Capgemini interview round 1st or round 2 okay so this question I received from my learner from my user okay and he given me this question although he has solved this question by his own way but today I am gonna solve this question by my way okay so the question is that we are having this data okay you can see we have this data set correct and if i just quickly show you df display of this then you know you may you may understand that question well right so you can see that we have this data id name age gender marks and you, as you can see over here that id <coughs> id is an integer name as a string age as integer gender string and marks float so what we need to do we need to save we need to save save integer columns integer columns into a, another in one data frame a string columns into a another you know data frame or we can say another file and then you know uh, float uh, store in a different data frame or different file so for what what i meant is that we have this id and age right so id age is an integer format correct integer and integer so this i will save in one file okay in one file or maybe in one location you can see or one with one data frame right likewise we have name name and gender right so this is this is of type string so i will save this into another file or another data frame or another location and marks will save into the different uh, you know different file so in right so let's see how we can do that so <clears throat> what i can do since i have you know we have this df correct so what i can do i can if 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 you want to know the data type right so you can either write here df dot schema right here you can see we have integer type right string type we have all the schema present over here of that particular data frame correct now you can also use print schema correct you can see over here we have id integer name string age integer and so 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 also what we can do also what we can do we can use over here d types now you can see we have id integer name string and this i mean this is a kind of list okay now now what what is the actual task is that you know we need to save all these uh, columns you know into a different different data frames or different different location based on the based on the data type right okay so here let me you know uh, create another cell and here i will import necessary library spicepark.sql.functions dot functions import let's say call i will import correct and here what i will do i will write here for i in and this is what this is a you know a type right this is a list so i will write here df dot d types and here i will write simple print of i we'll see what it will print it is printing like id integer name string one by one it is printing correct so ideally what we need to do we need to uh, select only id and uh, age if if this is integer correct so if you are very beginner right in python so what we can do we can write here if i i of what i of this is zero index this is first index so if i of one is equal to is equal to int correct correct then i will print here i of zero let me run this it printed id and age right likewise what i can do i can write here else uh, elif and and i of uh, i of 1 is equal to is equal to string then i can print here i of 0 correct like this i can write it down correct now 
now you can assume if we are having a multiple columns like you know in i mean data types like uh, integer boolean and then string float decimal double long big int and blah 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 right then you are not gonna write this if else condition every time correct right so in order to do that what we can do from this list i can achieve i can achieve these integer i mean these data types only you know how i can get it let me write here list of uh, the types something like that i can write and uh, <clears throat> i can initiate a loop for i in this and here i will use i of what one correct and this i will store into a set ideally so what i am why i am using here set let me just tell you so if one let me just write like this first and here i will use this list underscore d type so you can see here here we are receiving a duplicate so i need to remove a duplicate hence i am using here set like this i can use or even though you know i can directly store all this stuff into a set not in a list so i can change the name set of d type or you know set of d type like this correct now what i will do i will initiate a loop i in set of d types correct and here remove all this stuff all these things are not needed and here i will use here j so what is happening see what is happening i am using here set of d type so first i will go over here right i means you know first iterator is like float the float is coming over here and what i am doing i am checking if i is equal to is equal to j of 1 if it is then print print i i of 0 hmm i did a mistake marks id age and so things right so here what i will do i will in i will create one uh list or you know a list only because you know i need to filter the things i need to filter the data frame like you know like if it is integer you know if it is integer so i only need to select id and age column correct so what i will do i will use here initiate one list called calls correct and uh, here i will write calls dot append j of 0 and after end of this loop i will print it okay marks which is in float id age it is an integer and then name and gender it is in string correct everything is automated now now it's a simple statement here i can write df dot write dot mode if i if you want to you know write it down oops overwrite then save and here i need to pass that location file store tables then uh, output cap gemini and different location right i am saying a different file different file right so you know i can give here you know this that uh, uh, that formatter correct and i use here f and here i will write id integer so i will segregate segregate the file name so the folder folder name with 
I. I means ID data types like I, I, I mean integer, you know, string or float, whatever. Correct. <clears throat> Seems okay. And let me just give here one more slash. Let me run this. I did one one very big mistake that I did not select it over here the columns names. Right, I did this mistake. So I have to write here select and here I have to select uh, I have to pass here calls. Right. And now if I run this it may fail saying that the schema mismatch. Maybe I'm not sure. If it is then we'll see we'll change the code a little bit. Meanwhile, let me just write it down. dbutils dot fs dot ls and this nice we have id let me write here int after integer we are having you know all these data size now you can also use here repartition colis whatever you know if you need you can use that uh, that methods or that functions also right and might be you want to see the data so i can use here head oh i cannot do that So I can use this. Head to see the sample. Oh, it's packet, so I, I I cannot I cannot read it. Okay, sorry. Okay, so this is the you know uh, question which uh, someone has received in his interview so i thought to explain you and if you have any better solution so you can ping me right you can ping me and also what you can do you if you have any questions so you can ping me on my whatsapp on my telegram on my linkedin or over in the in this chat box or comment box okay of this youtube right apart from this i have created a course become azure data engineer by solving real time scenario problems so this is the course i will give the link in the description box also here you will be having around 8 to 10 courses in near future so till now what i had delivered so you know i had given this python course sql is available or uh, available on my on my youtube channel then database by spark series is available on my youtube channel Azure Data Factory course is available on my YouTube channel as well as on my paid course, right? And then Logic App course is available on my on my website on this course. Then Delta Lake project is also available. Azure Data Factory project is also available. Build and Azure end to end project is also available. Then Databricks interview course is also available. And then Snowflake, I am working on it. Maybe by by this week, I mean not this week, this month or maybe by tomorrow's, I mean the next month, I will be able to complete this project also. So here are the courses you, which you will be getting after registering on this course. I would recommend if you are someone who is lacking my content. So please go and check out these courses. Uh, right. And it is a uh, good deal, you know, because you will create at least four to five projects and you will have a better idea how to work in the real time uh, projects. Okay. I hope that you have liked it. If you do, do please subscribe, share and, you know, uh, share these tutorials on the LinkedIn post so that it will be reachable to everyone or to the most, you know, a broader audience. Right. Chalo, thank you. Bye bye.